Hey guys, welcome back. As you notice, there is nothing in front of me right now. What is up with that? We have a very special video today, a new edition of an old favorite. <laughs> Guess what I have for you today? An empty table! Cool video, right? Yeah? Cool? Huh? No? <laughs> you're, you're, like, you're probably all scratching your heads like, what? There's no puzzle. There's a bean dispenser, but there's no puzzle. No beans today. I have for you some excitement. Now that Ontario is kind of sort of reopened, halfway, a quarter, whatever, whatever you want to call it, we're allowed to go in stores again. And that was very exciting for us because for the last little bit, any new puzzles that we've been getting, like we've been working from my old collection, we've been working from some new, but most of those are very expensive because you have to buy them online and pay the shipping and they're a brand new puzzle. We got to go thrift store shopping and I got a little excited. I really did. I got to the store and I'm like, oh, there's puzzles! And it was like, I picked one up and I looked at Casey and I'm like, there's puzzles. <laughs> I looked at it for about two seconds and I'm like, put that in the cart. And that, and that, and that, and that. The cart got very full very, very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't think he expected that. And I'm like, what did I do? Oops. Oh well, that's a shame. They're all nice, too nice to decide. So, I thought I would share with you guys today the haul. Woohoo! All right, I'm just gonna go over here and start bringing some of the collection. Anyways, okay. The first half. Okay, this was a video that went up recently, the Charles Wysocki. And actually, that was part of the Tote Tap Out Challenge, too. That was um, that and the Butcher Shop video. They're two of his artwork puzzles, things, whatever you want to call them. Um, <laughs> it, I, they, they, they're actually so cool. I have quite a few of them and I just really like his art style. It's very old timey and like, I mean, I know I generally veer more towards the animals and all that rather than a scene, but I make the exception for these because it, it's unique. It's not like it's click, here's a mountain, click, here's a stream. No, he takes that one step further and he always has this unique little perspective with these buildings and like there's the horses and his trees. I don't know why I like the way he draws his trees so much. Uh, but I found two that I didn't have yet. It's so cool. I actually think I like this one better. This could be a bit of a challenge with all the pumpkins in the field here and here. It's exciting. I wonder if I can set a new record with this one for you guys. Very, very, very exciting. Oh, treasures. Ooh. Okay. Ha! Ah, hidden gem. I love these. I've loved these since I was a kid. Like, I know there's 500 pieces in there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But when you pay $5.99 for it, <laughs> it's still cheaper if you only care about the thousand piece puzzle and to go out and spend, like, we usually we run anywhere from $20 to $25 for a puzzle. It's still worth it, even if I was going to throw these other four puzzles away, which I'm not. Um, <laughs> I'm still coming out ahead. I'm excited about the zebras. Like, I wish that, that one would be hard. That's going to be hard, yeah, because yeah. it's just black and white. Yeah. I mean, there's the Ripley water brown stuff here, but that's going to be... That's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. that, that'll be a long one. That's going to be like a two and a half hour run. That's not a two hour, ten minute video. <laughs> But yeah, this is kind of cool. I think this one will actually be a challenge too, because like we were saying in the live, it's painted, like it's painted texture, and that somehow makes things a little more complicated. But then I mean the other, the 500s look pretty easy. I'm kind of excited about the, the Canada Goose. <laughs> the other color one looks like be, yeah. well, maybe because it's well, it's the same shades, so greens and reds and blues in the corner there. But it's also only 500 pieces, so sure. like, we'll see. I don't know, but it was an exciting find. They had other collectible ones like that there, but they didn't have any ones with animals in them except for this one. Like, I thought about it, I did. Maybe if it's still there when I go back, maybe. <laughs> I wonder how long to do the whole box. Oh, that would be a good because challenge. Because it's, it's, it's shorter, because mm -hmm. you've done the, ta the taupe tap out yeah. was over 7,000? 7, 7,000 or something in and there. That, and we did that, or you did that in... 12 hours. Roughly, yeah. Yeah. And you did a 5,000 one that took 29 hours. Mm -hmm. So this is 3,250. So it should be yeah. faster than doing a 3,000. You would, one. You would so think, yeah. How long it would take to do all five, five of them? Yeah. Yeah. Five. We hmm. could do that as a challenge. Sure. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. I think that would be pretty cool, you guys. Anyways, let us know what you think of that idea. I kind of like that. <laughs> 
bits and pieces. This one was so cool. I almost missed this one. Like, it, because it's such a little box. It was like, I didn't even see it. And then I picked it up and, oh, the cute little birds. Mm. I don't know if I think this one will be hard or not. I don't know. Like, I mean, there's a lot of sky, but I think it'll be okay. I don't think it'll be that bad. I think this one's gonna be easy peasy. Mm, mm. Very cute. Mm. Okay, I think I had a bit of a bird theme going on because this next piece <laughs> puzzle is also birds at their birdhouse in winter. What is up with me I in know, winter? So. I don't even like winter. Like, <laughs> I am a summer girl. I mean, it's pretty to look at, don't get me wrong. I don't like being cold. <laughs> but yeah. All different kinds of birds. We got a bird theme going on. We got an art theme going on. We got a, a collectible box. Hmm. Okay. Well. Okay. We're going with the winter theme again. <laughs> again. <laughs> What's up with this? All right. This one I think is going to be a challenge. I think it's going to be like the dog puzzle because it's, it's white cheap. on animals and they're like tiny little animals. Same so. little. Mm -hmm. Santa hats and stuff threw up them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that this is gonna be a tough one. This is gonna be uh, Max probably eats some beans there <laughs> one. Yeah. But look at the cute little kitties. That's kind of going back to the live as well when we did our pet exchange photos and stuff. That one's kind of like my cat, but as you guys have seen, he, this is too little to be my cat. My cat is like eight times the size <laughs> of this cat. He dwarfs that kitty. Kitties. <laughs> oh, there really were, there was like a theme going on to some of these puzzles. Like I got cats, That's I got a... birds, I've got art. No, this one's cute. And I like White Mountain's theme of doing puzzles. Like they seem to have an inside and then they break it down on the outside of what kind of cat is what. So it's going back to almost like that winter puzzle that I did a while ago where it's like, oh, this is a, okay, this writing's really small. Uh, this is a Singapore cat. Hmm. Didn't know that. I did not know that. It, it teaches you things. This teaches you all about the breeds. <laughs> That's so cool. We only pretty much grew up with Siamese cats. That's all we've ever had. Really? There's a couple other ones in there, but mm. all yeah. growing up, we only ever had Siamese cats. Huh. So oh. like mom, that's what mom likes, Siamese cats. Oh. I mean, they're cute. <laughs> I think he, my, I think Kitty is a Maine Coon, wherever he is. A Maine Coon in something, because they're, they're big, beefy. Cats. Cobble Hill. I was most excited about these treasures. Like, what? These normally run from $20 and I paid $3.99 and $4.99. That's nothing. They're such nice pictures. Like, horses, the Indian theme. I, 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 do, I don't actually have any like this, but I've always really liked this style. I can just never justify spending 20 or more dollars plus shipping. Oh, the struggle. The struggle is real. And one of my personal favorite treasures, the ocean theme. Casey really thought I had this puzzle already. It kind of pays to have like a catalog of all the puzzles you have upstairs in your noggin at any given point in time. I swore you had that one. No, I have puzzles like this. I don't have this particular puzzle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My haul. First day open. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. It's good? Yeah. Now they can see everything? Yeah. They can see it all? Yes. My haul. I'm very satisfied. I think I only spent like $50 on this stuff, and that's pretty much the price of two, two of these. This is what I would have paid for these two puzzles right here, and I got all of this. That is a ton. I guess I have some work to do for you guys to see how fast I can do all these new puzzles. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.